Enchanted Circle presents Sky Color, written and illustrated by Peter H. Reynolds. By looking at the front cover, can you predict and guess what this book might be about? There's colors of the rainbow, a person with a paintbrush, and an easel. Let's find out and see. Here we are at the title page with these beautiful colors mixed together and, oh, some more clues. And we see where the book was made, Candlewick Press. So let's begin and see about those predictions. Marisol was an artist. She loved to draw and paint, and she even had her very own art gallery. Not all her art hung in a gallery. Much of it she shared with the world. She painted posters to share ideas she believed in. At school, Marisol was famous for her creative clothes, her box of art supplies, and her belief that everybody was an artist. Yes, Marisol was an artist through and through. So when her teacher told the class they were going to paint a mural for the library, Marisol couldn't wait to begin. The classroom buzzed with the sound of brainstorming. The students talked and sketched. Together, they made a great big drawing. Then they marched to the library. I'll paint a fish. I'll paint one too. I'll paint the ocean, Marisol shouted. I'll paint the sky. Marisol rummaged through the box of paint, but could not find any blue. What is she going to do? How am I going to make the sky without blue paint? The bell rang. It was time to put their brushes down for the day. As she climbed aboard the bus, Marisol kept wondering. Hmm, I bet she's wondering, how am I going to paint without blue? All the way home, she stared out the window. Huh. Doesn't look like there's any blue out that window. The sun lowered closer to the horizon. Wow, look at those colors. All warm looking, red, orange, and yellow. <laughs> no blue in sight. Later at home, Marisol watched day turn into night. It looks like the colors are getting darker. I see violet, a dark magenta, and a dark gold. That night, Marisol settled into a deep dream. She drifted through a sky swirling with colors. The colors mixed, making too many to count. Whoa! There are way too many colors to count. It's like a galaxy of colors. In the morning, Marisol stood waiting for the bus in the rain. <sighs> the sky was not blue. She smiled. I don't see any blue, too. Do you? At school, Marisol raced to the library. She grabbed a dish and began adding colors. This one, that one. She swirled the brush to make an altogether new color. Marisol then began painting on the wall. A boy asked, what color is that? That, Marisol said, that is sky color. Look at these amazing colors Marisol made. I see a violet gray, a dark magenta, and oh, oh, look over there. There's a chartreuse, a yellow green, a gold, and I see a red orange color too. I don't see any blue in her sky. And here we are at the dedication page. Usually it's in the front, but a little twist, it's in the back of the book. Dedicated to Aldo Servino, who took the blue paint away from me and helped me paint and think in sky color. Our story has come to an end. And, hmm, I'm wondering... 
Could that be the missing blue jar of paint? I'm also wondering, did your predictions come true? Though the story has ended, let's look at these amazing colors in our world now. Look at this sky with its wonderful pinkish hue. I see some white and darkish violet gray color. Oh, look at this one with its warm colors, red, orange, and yellow, the sun reflecting on the warm looking water. In this one, the trees look dark and bare without leaves and the sky peeking through pink, violet, and some gold. Looks like it could be winter. The clouds in this sky are purpley gray, rimmed with a hot pink color, and lighter pink clouds are overhead. This next one, with rays of white and gold light shining through, and dark gray clouds throughout. And this sky, with its pink cotton candy clouds, rimmed with dark violet and yellow orange, gold shining its light onto a violet gray mountain. I hope the story and these images of real skies has inspired you to make your own new sky color. And don't forget to go outside and look up or to look through a window and see all the different sky colors we have around us.